And I think Mark said that tight ends is a group for the players of the game last week. How much pride did you all take in that performance? Um, a lot of pride. Um, Merrill, you know, has one rule, no soft crap. And I think we really took it to uh, South Carolina. And um, us individually, we, we take a lot of pride in that. Who was a very physical team? How much do you, you know, when you look at it on film, did that translate to film? Did you kind of see that? Yeah, you know, they got some good edge rushers and very physical team. So um, today we're going to work on a lot on our technique and physicality. And Merrill is really focusing on that for us as a tight end unit. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what we do. Are they playing up at all? The, you, know, you know, sort of similar to that 2018 thing? I mean, it was a little earlier the Florida game that year, but, you know, you know, kind of like playing up the underdog thing, but you know, you can go out there and dominate like that. Kind of yeah, yeah. You know, I think they they are kind of short saying us um, a little bit. Um, that the, that's how they look at us. They, um, Florida thinks you know, like Kentucky is the same old Kentucky, and even when we have close games with them or beat them, and we're obviously a very dominant team, they still see past that because it's Florida, you know. But I think. Um, I mean, I'm just watching this practice, seeing our games. I mean, we haven't seen our team to our true full potential yet, obviously. And um, if we put everything together, I really see us being very dominant in this game. Do you see this as kind of a measuring stick game for you guys? I mean, you're four and zero, but to prove yourself, you can go and beat the you know the best yeah. teams in the country. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, I could totally see that. Um, I mean, like I said, if we put it all together, we could truly see how good of a, good of a team we really are. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're the leading rusher, or Chris is leading rusher, we're the leading receiver, but we're also leading turnovers, you know? So, I mean, just to see our team truly come together and, uh, you know, like I, I really see it happening in this game, um, we can show everyone and the, and the fans and um, college football rankings, you know, that we're, we should be up there and, and we're a dominant team. Is it, is it as simple as the turnovers that you think? Is that kind of the thing holding you guys back? Or is there other things you're seeing that maybe – um, there's some, you know, little things that we could fix, but the, but the biggest thing is obviously, I think, the turnovers. And, um, you know, once we fix that and the little things, uh, we could show how dominant we are. There was a, felt like a switch was flipped. It looked kind of like old Kentucky running downhill against South Carolina. Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Um, yeah, you know, we, we've all, the practice, we've always just focused. I mean, South Carolina, we really wanted to take it to them. And, you know, we gave the ball to Chris and Chris was just a freak freak train you know just run through people so it's like hey you know this is working you know why why stop it and um, so that's kind of I think that's kind of like where that came from and, yeah is it just a mentality thing a motivation thing at the line of scrimmage uh, yeah I mean you got to be you have to have a different mentality in the trenches um, you know especially a guy like me but my high school I was more of a receiving tight end when I came here put on some pounds and um, showed Mara that I'm very physical and I had to completely change my mentality and that's what we kind of did to Isaiah Cummins and if, if you watch this film or see what he did I mean dude well, dude was wrecking some people and um, I'm really proud of him to see you know how far he's come I mean dude was a wide receiver uh, you know a couple months ago and now he's kicking some big dudes out the defensive ends backers and um, yeah to play in the trenches to be a tight end you got to be mentally you know, strong and got to have a different mentality to go knock some dudes' heads. How hard is that for a guy like Isaiah to come in and do what he's done? Just you, you, you oh. get there physically as fast as he Yeah, um, I, have to, I mean, he keeps, I feel like he, he developed fast into a tight end. Uh, sh shocking to me. I mean, I've, I mean, I've seen so many people trying to move wide receivers to tight ends just through my career. And, like high school in here and it just wouldn't go well you know because they didn't have that like they could catch they could run routes great but they couldn't they weren't physical enough and isaiah actually starting to bring some physicality and i really started to see it uh south carolina and uh me and rick we both saw it and um you know i think it's because you know he's been watching me and rick a little bit so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's i think that's where he's getting it from but no yeah i'm proud of him how did you embrace that mentality i mean I I think Liam said before the season, he thinks you're one of the best players on the team. And even if you're not getting all the highlights all the time, just knowing that you're out there doing your job, if, if it, even if it doesn't get that attention. Yeah, you know, I just focus on doing, like, what's my role and uh, to win my reps and, you know, just focus on um, yourself just to, in your, your assignment to help the team. And that's what I focus on. I don't care about the hype. I just care about winning and what's best for the team. So, you know, if they want me to run through a dude's head, like I'll do that. If they want me to, you know, sell a decoy route so we can get, you know, why, why no, why don't want to post, I'll do that. Like I'll do anything to help the team. And I think that's what, you know, everyone has that kind of mentality to do whatever for the team, especially in the tight end room.
you guys had look like some sets with all three of you out there. Oh yeah. How, how fun are those for you guys? Oh man, they're exciting. Oh man, I just wish, uh, you know, wish Keen was here so we could have four, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, but uh, yeah, I love, I love running out there. I'm running out there, I'm like, 13. 13 run out there feeling big look to my left i see isaiah I'm like all right i see you know big rig and we just run in there there's a big group of dudes running there it's an awesome feeling and you know oh man the, the plays we can run off of that and, uh it's, it's really exciting you kind of touched on it earlier but what would it mean to beat florida again and to beat them at home after playing them so close except for last year but you guys have played them so close at home what would oh, it mean yeah. to finally break through and beat them I mean, it, it would it would mean a lot, um, especially for the season, and to show the fans that you know we're we are elite. We're an elite team. We got some, I mean, great athletes, and you know, especially do that in front of all of the fans. Um, I mean, the Kroger Field's already packed out, and uh, you know, to do that in front of all of them would mean mean a lot to me. And I, I think you know, to sh show the fans our appreciation, like thank you for coming, thank you for sticking us through all these years. You know, even when we're down here and now we're up here it's just you know it, it would mean a lot thank you, thank you. Thank you.